I was tuned to that long live in 2014, 15, 16. I think all the way. I still, I think I still have that account. Tune D double O D lowercase O's. You know what Tune Dude was called because I went to a phase in my life just drinking, drinking, and like you know watching uh, especially Chevelle videos. You know I pretended like I was the guy. You know, uh, uh, peel off like I was the guy. Except you know then a reality came in when I watched. You know I went to the show and I knew it was like that. But before I actually watched a live audience and I used to fuck with that too. You know, but that's when you like you know, you, you, I I didn't like myself. It's like my mentality was suppressed. I can watch Chevelle videos right now and listen to the song, but something else happens. Other people haunt me and stuff. So you can say it's better, but it's a little bit worse because you know there's a lot of creepy stuff. But I'll take this life over that life. You know, I don't play the shallow, uh, egotistical uh, game. And honestly, for anyone that has an obsession about, as I'm saying, being a footballer star. Much practice you have to go through, right? It is not fun to sit to, to let's say in media and answer a bunch of questions about, well, why'd you do this, this, and that, and I get aggravated. And then, you know, I guess, you know, people are like, I don't know, you're in that celebrity lifestyle where, like, you know, everybody knows your details. You know, who are you going out with what you say? You gotta be, you gotta like quick, uh, keep a squeaky clean image. Oh, a lot of people do to begin with, they hide and lie, so that's fine for you. But you know what? It's that obsession of just like, you know, not just being on stage and like just just having fun with the guitar. I mean, I don't even know what the fuck uh, you know uh, chords are. I mean, I know their label is something different sound, but it's like I didn't even in a start. I have a ukulele and I kind of make some like, sounds with them. Did ones, but you know I'm not even that gifted to actually play it over and over. And you you gotta understand, it's not just the talent, but it's rehearsal. You gotta rehearse lyrics. You gotta you gotta get your voice right. And you can sit in your mind, wow, I could do that, and I'm great. And look at me. It's like a, it's a form of like a insecurity and just, you know, I don't want to say arrogance because I don't feel like I felt arrogance, at least from my perspective. I didn't feel arrogant when I was doing that, but just like, you know, and not just a, a deep shallowness, but just like a, a, a total insecurity of the mind in yourself. And I was overweight and, you know, uh, hurt like you wouldn't believe, you know, uh, uh, 9 a.m. liquor store open, uh, 12, 1 o'clock, I was already drunk, passed out sleep, and I, and I stayed up at night, something like that, you know, and the fact that I picked that name Toon Dude was because of that, you know, and I knew it, I just wanted to make a <clears throat> screen name, just so, you know, I could remember at that point in my life, if I survive, I just, you know, and, I, and honestly, I was like, well, well, this is who I am, I just want to know how many people will know because of that, or I'll probably say, like, wow, you must know a lot about music then, huh? And I even knew that, you know, it's like, well, and I, you know, I did know a lot about music. I used, I used to listen to a lot of stuff, but that's not why I called myself Toon Dude. It was because of that, you know, it was just like, you know, and so I did it, just watch uh, YouTube videos and like, you know, uh, but like, just, it, it was just shallow egotistical, you know, it was very shallow egotistical and like, you know, it was disgusting, you know, and when I came out, I was embarrassed. For weeks, I couldn't even listen to, this, to the same songs. Like, people would know and that stuff. And then, for some reason, I started feeling good. I started getting my life together. I fell right back into that. People loved that shit. They loved it. You know? Like, they, they absorbed it. They wanted me to be like that. That suppressed kind of, you know, mental slave, mental slave, mental jail person. You know, consuming my own mind or some egotistical stuff. Like, I'm not saying, you know, I, I you know, I, I really love, love that, 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 but. Uh, those those musicians or their music are the best, but it could be like let's say I wasn't uh, or Breaking Benjamin or Limbisk or Metallica or you know any rapper out there like I mean, do I really know the stage presence how to get on pre stage and actually perform in front of a live audience? I mean, geez, I have stage fright. You know, it's like watching a Superman movie. You're like, yeah, you know, that's me. <laughs> but it's like you know you get to the third floor and you're like, no oh, man, it's really tall over there. It's like, I, I, and if you're high tech, I can fall. It's just like, and the wind rushes you. You know, so where is your reality and common sense? You know, or is it just like, you know, you just, you know, you, you're being down so by life, you just want to be someone great or something just to like recover because you like, you just, you, you just had enough, you know, depression, suicidal thoughts or something like that. Because when I was sober, I just, you know, I didn't, I didn't know what the point was to be alive. You know, and a lot of times when I was sober, I didn't do that stuff. You know, I didn't, I didn't think like that. 
I'm not even sober and just obsessed about it. Usually I was an alcohol. And I was drinking heavily, like every day to the point where just, you know, not that I soiled myself. I actually didn't soil myself, but once in a while I actually pissed in my sleep too. I know I'm sticking my soul that and made fun of that, but I would have told him, yeah, I pissed my soul, I cleaned up, and I'm getting a new mattress. You know, but it's like being in that state. And I don't know if I'm so embarrassed by having my mentality to go that level because it's creepy and disgusting. But, you know, at least, you know, it's like I wouldn't put anyone in that place, you know? You know, I didn't enjoy that. You know, I, I, I just, you know, it's creepy and, like, I'll talk about it, but it's just disturbing, you know? And, you know, me, uh, that guy, <clears throat> to do that, you know, was on phone live in the chat rooms of, like, 2014, 15. I mean, just went to, like, a, a horror show of just inhumanity by certain people and, and that I used to work with, and including my relatives. A lot of people I used to work with, you know, they just openly wanted to do me, uh, give me all type of drugs that were synthetic, just want to mess me up, and they, they, they love the fact that I might go to a prison for something that I didn't do. It's like, what would you get out of that that I'm locked up? You know, I'm not going to go into that uh, spiel of like, you know, you could be incarcerated and you have freedom, although it's true, but you still know you're incarcerated. It doesn't feel good as well. You know, it really doesn't. It does. Even if they remind you, you know, you're behind some wall, you have a window and you look out to it and you're like, I can't experience that. And then you start thinking, what if I was outside and I experienced that and just some other idiots, assholes that are in there, in there, want me in there, wouldn't want me to experience that and they will, you know, Suppress my mentality or haunt me even more for just, you know, a simple uh, thing that I'm happy and alive and I'll change, try to change some other people's lives for the better. You know, you know that guy uh, drinking, it, like me uh, pretending, you know, it's like somebody else. It's just like, you know, it's like trying to be like the, 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 this popular guy, like successful or like a talent. You know, maybe I'm maybe having the best talent, but. I couldn't create something just like it, it takes a lot of work and dedication to, uh, and you know a dedication is the key you have to practice 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 even though I don't have the best vocal cords and a lot of times I, I, I stutter I stop at saying a particular word even when I'm trying to record like the last thing I recorded and it's like you know you gotta you gotta take your breath minus the people that are trying to haunt you and try to stop you too because I can't even you know uh, finish a paragraph finish a song because you know idiots out there just don't want me to and that's reality for me. But, you know, I'll take that struggle over, like, you know, me struggling in life and, you know, people just enjoying the fact that I'm drunk as hell the whole time. Yeah, that line from uh, The Lost Boys, that guy uh, Smithers, I was the guy that the guy Smithers wanted me to be. Yeah, I feel like, you know, there's not just Smithers, there's a lot of Smithers, and a lot of them are just uh, old white people with a lot of money. There's a lot of people like that, a lot of them are females that want me like that. And it's disgusting, like, I don't want you in my life. You know, like if you want me like that angry and just, you know, drunk and all that stuff. Like, well, how disgusting are you? And not of some reality stuff that I did. I should be, you know, uh, ashamed. Like, you know, Evanescence chick over there talks about. Like, I, I shouldn't be ashamed. You're the one that wants, wants me to be ashamed. You just like you told uh, in a song. You know, it's like, what? ashamed for what? Something I didn't do? Something that you are? You want to lie and manipulate me in my mind to suppress me? So, you know, I do feel embarrassed, but at the same time, I understand why that happened. You know, I understand why I was like that. You know, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a creepy little mentally child that, you know, obsessed about selling crack and, you know, uh, even to pregnant females and, you know, runs away from the cops and he brags about it. You know, and then he wants me to be mentally suppressed and drunk to, you know, to feel hurt. Like, I mean, geez, that's what I went through, you know? I, can, I still get creeped out by, you know, some lunatic and, like, you know, baggy jeans pretends to be somebody else. He's not, you know? He wants to destroy a neighborhood of people's lives, even, you know? And he's disgusting, dirty, kicks around with children's toys, and, you know, he pretends he's the father of the year because he got, he, like, you know, uh, he, he reproduced. I mean, that's, you know, a, a minuscule level on a, on a, uh, on a highly biological, biologically level talking. You know, it just, it's disgusting. But, you know, that's just one person. There's a lot of you like that, too. Or as well, if anybody has a problem that I said that, that, uh, phrase and uh, that wording, uh, in such a phrase. Ooh, I'm guilty. You know, because let's say, as far as picking different words, 
I mean, just imagine you're trying to write something and trying to put it uh, uh, in a musical sense. You have a beat or music behind it, and then you know you gotta uh, either you. I mean, you rap it. You say uh, say wordly you uh, wordly faster, right? You say it fast. That's what rapping is. Although you do ha kind of have have some uh, style of flow about you know how how you rapping, right? But even like uh, even rock, the way you say it and such accentuate it. Or even a certain phrase that you just look, oh, you just go like that. I mean, you gotta go to put it together. You just not gotta come out with it off the bat. It's really difficult, isn't it? You know, you can try and try and try again. When I do dishes, I do something, but it's like, it, it, I'm saying it's Dr. Seuss style, but Dr. Seuss style comes even even with that I mess up. You know, but imagine you know just uh, not just being in a video, but actually having that concept because that you know it takes work too, but performing and actually. Uh, doing it vocals just like 45 minutes to an hour per show it gets exhausting you know even in vocal chords and especially in the songs you already told you songs you don't even like it be do because certain people like it it's like oh man it sucks too it is work even though you have you probably have fun with it because you know you enjoy the music or people are into it but you know it's that it's that mentality what not just what shattered it and broke it but it's also like you know even when I was drunk, I was like, well, I can't do that anymore. I can't have that fantasy anymore because now, you know, I woke up to it. and I know it's reality. And, you know, it's like, am I going to get pulled back in again? It was just a creepy, creepy day or two days or a week in my life. You know, it's like I knew and it happened before. It's like, I'm not going to get sucked into this. Like, I'm still there. Just, you know, I don't play with that shallow, egotistical, uh, arrogant stuff. You know, that celebrity kind of on the stage stuff. There's some other stuff that went through in my life. A lot of it was just anger. People were angry at me and just, you know, me uh, showing them, you know, the door and telling them what they are. You know, I just don't want to experience that in my life anymore. I really don't. You know, the last event uh, that happened, I didn't, you know, I'm not obsessed with it. Because that's what it is. You know, it's an obsession. You know, and you go into how love is an obsession. I don't think it's really, love is an obsession to begin with. You know, if you love something... Uh, yeah, you might really like it too much, but it's, it's that's not the same thing. It could be, but it's really not. You know, uh, phone might come out and it just like uh, comes out and let it go. You know, one of my favorite videos I talked about, even in the psych word in Trinitas, uh, uh, the Janusz Kwiatkowski, I called him Janusz. That was the best video I ever recorded. Except I felt anxious because he felt anxious. And then the first half a minute, you know, I started talking to him and I was like, why am I scared of this freaking Yanush? I don't obsess about that. I'm just happy I record it, so it's out there. Do I watch it sometimes? Yeah, do I laugh at it? Hell fucking yeah. Especially when he makes his threats to me, like you're gonna get you're gonna get yourself a lot of trouble. You know, he almost wanted to say boy, but he called me Kapatafian, an idiot. You know, it's very foretelling, like everybody that knows him has been telling him he's the biggest idiot you ever saw. Including the manager before him. So he calls me an idiot. So it's like, I'm obsessed about that guy. I mean, the guy is creepy and disgusting. You know, he's the biggest moron I've ever met. One of them, at least. I'm not going to use that phrase, he's my favorite. And by the way, I already talked about it. It's not a homosexual thing. Like, he's my favorite friend. Like, you people say or think or feel. Right? Just that, you know, he's my favorite people to be around. So I could just, you know, ridicule him or just get info out of him. And, you know, uh, not use it against him, but find out what, you know, what, what, what he really is. And, like, how dumb he really is. How disturbed. I don't even use that phrase anymore. You know, I, used it one, I think I used it a couple of times, but it's just like, it was corny. I didn't like it, you know? Okay, I mean, <laughs> going into uh, Vaughn Lines, Bubba Ganusha is my favorite because, you know, uh, he kicked me, banned me, and then he showed what a, what a loser and what a fool idiot he was. Basically, my favorite out of those people to, like, you know, expose. Maybe because he runs his mouth. Eventually, now he got kind of quiet, but, you know. It's really like that. I don't want to know any of those people personally. You know, obviously, you know, they would set, set me up for murder because, you know, uh, I'm not like them. Or maybe I show them who they really are. And it would consume me and hate me and, you know, eat me up and stuff. But yeah, that Toon Dude thing, you know, it was just like, you know, I don't care if I go on a, in a chat with people, hey, Toon Dude, they, they do it on purpose. That. Also thought they just can't get their minds to to say a different name, you know, or they just suck and like they're gonna uh, get me aggravated, I'm not really aggravated by that, you know, I'm just like, every time, not that someone says tune, I think of doom dude, 
I think at that time, but I was, I was like, how many people love that? How many people enjoy that? That I was in that state. And where are they right now in their life and, you know, how they act towards me? And maybe I'll make that account. I've been talking about tune doing just, you know, and go back, uh, back to people's channel. But some people, they're not around anymore. Once in a while, they come around and then they're gone, at least from me, for months. And then I look at the, they're in the chat site, either phone and iBlog, it says they were that day. Well, they're not on camera, and you know I can't find them in other people's chat rooms. You know, it'd be nice if they were on camera, and I could see their facial expressions, even though I'll be in the chat, or the other way around. How many people, of those people that want to degrade me, want to suppress me, want to you know get me on drunk, on 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 drugs that I don't even know, and just having me looking like a feeling like a zombie when I get on camera, come into my chat room. I got 10, 20, 30 guests, anonymous people that come in. A couple seconds, they see me and they leave. Right? One person came in there and just called me a cunt. And then he acted like a cunt. Right? And, and it's like, you know, get your big pink ass and your good nooshes ass and your gaming girls and your Sarah Six Twos and your, uh, you know, uh, sense, sensitized because you're sensitive in my channel and telling me how, you know, what you really think about me. But don't be fake about it either, you know? Let it out. Do your little game that you always have. Not too many people do. Uh, just behind, you know, behind your back, they're really tough. But yeah, that's what Tundu was, and it was just like I was obsessed with something that I, I didn't even want to be obsessed with, you know? Like the stuff I write, and I, maybe I put it uh, uh, to music, am I going to obsess about it like that? Pretty much not, you know? Because that's that mentality that I am. I'm not, I don't want to have that mentality. Am I embarrassed by it? No, I'm embarrassed when the like, first two days I came came out of it. Sometimes I think about it was that, but also just, you know, being drunk to the point where just like, you know, or I could really think, especially when you're drunk, just eat anything, and then you just wake up, the next like, wow, I ate that, oh yeah, I remember. I mean, that's disgusting and creepy, you know? It's not because I could put uh, uh, pictures and videos and music to something that I ate, and it's like, oh yeah, yeah, I mean, that's how I want to be, even if I don't make that video. You know, it's just like having that experience actually creating something that uh well this would taste good this and that and maybe somebody else does it and it's like you know it costs this in a restaurant but i could go five or six feet to the kitchen i could have it in 15 20 minutes and i have to drive somewhere this and that wait online wait to be seated and be around other people strangers that i don't know right and catch an attitude from the waiter or waitress or whatever just some something else i could just you know have it in the comforts of my home for uh much cheaper price, couple dollars probably, you know, but you know, that's the life I want, you know, do I want to obsess about that and just, you know, like, oh wow, he did that, no, it would be nice to get a compliment, but too many people, not too many people do that, even though they go to a restaurant, they would eat that, but you know, I, I know what they think of me, and I don't want your fake, uh, little, uh, fake, uh, insecurity and, you know, compliments anyway, so it's fine, I just, you know, I want to enjoy life and I don't want to obsess about it either.